with you and today we're doing journaling um, journaling cards journaling out of the box I have these two uh, tiles that I've created kind of uh, through a swatching process that I shared with my patrons and I have this card as well and I thought it'd be fun and I also have this leftover piece from the uh, diamond painting card set that I made and I thought it'd be fun to make some cards that I could use um, later I could scan and use for um, my newsletter possibly uh, either that or I could also use it for um, I've been wanting to do for my patreons uh, give them a little extra so I'm thinking that could be a good thing as well um, so I don't know I want to possibly scan it but I don't know yet what I want to do um, so I'm just gonna be adding some extra layers to this and I want to just play I thought this was not gonna react the gouache but I guess it will because clearly it's reacting again which is strange because I thought gouache once it was dry was not going to react so I guess change of plans I'm gonna um, I guess it's going to react to clear gesso as well, but I'm going to try it out. I'm surprised because I was sure gouache didn't react again to, to medium. But, and see it's not reacting not reacting to the gesso well a little bit but not so much to the gesso as to the water which is strange <coughs> but that's also a lesson learned for what I'm gonna want to do with the backgrounds that I created so far because clearly if they're gonna react it's gonna change to change quite a lot what I'm what I was hoping to do well you know you you li live and learn um, I wonder if it's all gouache because it was my first time using gouache so I don't know if it's all gouache that that react or if it just happens to be the gouache that I have Well, the good thing is it's hiding some of the extra white on the card. So I guess that's good. <coughs> and then I can add the top to that. Because now that I've put the gesso, at least that base will not move again. And now I'm actually wondering if I want to use this at all or if I want to use some oil pastels and do mark making instead. And I think I might want to do that instead. I've been having a lot of fun making marks.
So those are metallic type of oil pastels. Um, I do have some other ones. These are the, the dollar store brand. Cost. I'm not even sure if I got, I believe I got it at, uh, um, at a thrift store. want to start have um, joined in to a few classes um, and I just started following them it's um, Wonderlust you probably heard of it um, it's a media mixed media journey and um, looking I've just started uh, taking the classes and I also have the life book by Tamara Laporte which I'm very excited about which I haven't started yet the classes there so I'm hoping that through this journey I'm gonna learn more about the different mixed medium uh, mixed media and the reaction and and all of that stuff and continue on my artistic journey I like doing the edges to my things. I just somehow like the edges to be finished. So most of the time I end up putting black to it. These are just little playing cards from a game. And I had gessoed them with white gesso to cover the, the image and then uh, I just play on top. And I love playing with these um, size, first of all, because it's, it's a lot of fun. And second of all, because it just allows me to, um, uh, to put texture and things on top and it's not in a book. So it doesn't take, it doesn't matter that it's, um, it's raised because it goes into one of those old sewing machine uh, books so it's actually a, a good thing so what I'm thinking of doing is making some flowers and I was thinking of making it my fountain pen and then cutting it out so that it's my own design Because obviously if I want to scan these and share them, um, they have to be my own design. Like I don't want to be sharing somebody else's art.
I'm just going to cut these out. I think I'm going to want to put some white accent as well to the flowers possibly. And I want to put these frays, but I'm thinking I'm not going to put them right away. I'm probably going to scan these first and then, um, and then actually add the words so that I have multiple options. So these are going to go with this one and these can go with these flowers. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might not scan them. I might just take pictures and use the pictures instead of a scan because of the fact that there's the raised um, areas. I'm not sure how that's all going to work out. And especially because I want to put a button on top of it as well so that might also create an issue i want to put extra little details to my flowers because why not that's part of the fun Uh, I think I'm going to take the pictures and then I'll take the pictures in, in uh, multiple fashions so I have different possibilities with these. Okay, so as the buttons, as the tops. I have lots of buttons. Maybe a fun one.
because the flower is really small. I don't want to have a big button, but that I feel is too too dark. Well, they're pretty much all the same size, the smallest ones. So I can't, even though they look smaller, in reality they're not really any smaller, so... Yeah. So I think I will go with these. Now the question is, do I want to add some layers? underneath my flowers or do I leave it just as it is I would probably cut this and put this here like that. So let's let's start putting this together. Where did my pen go? Okay, so here's one. Actually, let's use this glue instead. Because I really want to make sure that this sticks to the background I've created and it's got different things on it so I'm not sure how the how the just regular tape would stick you know Okay, and do I just put that or do I put twine in it? That's a question now. My twine. I have plain black. It's large. Not something very thin. Not something very thin, and there's nothing in there. Um, I do have another little 
ton of different twines here. I wonder if this would be pretty. I've got a feeling I'm going to give myself trouble if I put that because it's going to unwrap itself. <coughs> okay, so that's not good. Uh, what else do I have? My. Let me look at. Where did I put it? So I have a big, big bundle. I don't know where I put it. Oh, this is so big pool. And uh, it's the weirdest thing. I can't find it. What did I do with it? I don't know what I did with it, but I found something that's going to work. This is very thin floss, so it's actually going to be perfect. But I don't know where, where I put the other thing. It's a big bundle. And usually it was right beside me, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was right beside me. <laughs> um, boy, oh boy. There's days like that. So do I like that better or do I like it better with just the white? I think I like the added little extra bit. I'm all about all the extras putting, you know, that extra little thing. So there's that. Let's do the other flower. Gonna be fun because if I have a few <coughs> things like this that are made in advance then I can decide what I want to include with my newsletter and if I can also put some on my blog um, I can put some for my patreon I'm just I just love being able to share stuff like this you know and it's it's really nice if it's my own art that I've created and can just share with you all. So if you are not registered to the newsletter, uh, you have until 
the beginning of the next month to do so and you can find it on my website um, www.craftingviki.com and that's uh, and then you can get some freebies and you can also go and check out my blog I also share there uh, some freebies I started again in the month of March so I think these could be fun to use for um, on top of a card they could be a fun journaling sp spot there's a lot of places I feel like they could be used so and, uh, and this will be find joy in the ordinary I think will be very pretty on this okay so we've got one done this is a journaling uh, out of the box that's a little bit longer than the typical uh, ones I guess but I've promised you guys that I was going to try to do more content for YouTube as well not just my Patreons so trying to keep my promise to you all I so appreciate uh, you taking the time to come and and visit and spend time with me and I hope that ins inspires you to try to do something creative and to just have fun and it doesn't have to be anything serious and you can do little cards like the fun part with this is you could do tons of little cards like that you could scan them and then reuse them uh, for your card making sessions uh, you could just have lots of fun and this one I think is going to be live in the moment these words are from uh, sets I don't know if I still have them on on my um, Etsy store but I had created a bunch of different sentiments and they were for sale on Etsy there's certain ones that I've uh, I've stopped carrying because after a while if they weren't selling anymore uh, I just didn't uh, offer them I think what would be fun too is to cut out a bunch of different phrase from books and stuff and and use those make sheets of those to be offered with different fonts and stuff just a little phrase a bit like uh, Tim Holtz has in uh, he has a set similar to that that are kind of cutouts from books maybe I should do that if you have ideas of things that you would like to see in my Etsy store I always love to uh, have new ideas, new input I don't hesitate to share fun okay and then I just need some twine and that will that card will be done as well okay where did my 
I cut out a piece and then I lost it. And it's black and I'm just not seeing it. <sighs> where, the, where did it go? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Sometimes I'm telling you guys, <laughs> struggle can be very real. Uh, I'm glad I can use the uh, the little leftover leaves from uh, the diamond painting cards because those took a long time to make. <laughs> if you've watched that video, oh wow, it was it was quite quite something to make this, but very fun. I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't make another set of cards, that's for sure. Um, but I will use up that technique for sure again in something else, but not, not, uh, you know, little portions maybe of something, but not in, uh, not a big, uh, yeah, so this is going to be live in the moment and I think I'm going to put it right over there, but I'm not going to do it before I scan them or photograph them, I should say, because I'm not scanning these. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing me make these little cards and that it inspires you to try and do some sort of art of somewhat and just have fun with with your creativity. Um, it's, it's, yeah, we need it in our life. So that's it, guys. If you like this, please subscribe. Consider subscribing. Leave comments, thumbs up. All of this good stuff, it makes my channel uh, grow, it makes people know uh, about me and um, I'm hoping to, uh, to give more content to you guys but it always is very um, helpful when I see that, um, that people like it and you know, it's inspiring to do more. So, love you guys, stay safe and see you soon, bye!